All right, today on the Happy Satellite Nerd, I'd like to talk to you about how the, the device, a dish positioner that you'll need to move your actuator so you'll be able to move your satellite dish. <laughs> I have an actuator growing out of my head. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> All right, this is an old MACOM uh, analog uh, satellite receiver. And back in the day, these things would have, like your dish positioner built or in satellite the receiver, receiver, would have the uh, switches, or these, these little plugs here, uh, for your, to move your dish. Some people still use these to move their dish. So this is the back of the dish positioner. It has your two uh, wires for your sensor and two, uh, and two for your motor. So what it does, it uh, sends a signal to the sensor so that it knows where, what positions it, it's in. And also, I don't use this option, but you can use it. You can run your receiver to your LMB, and what this would do is it would send the, uh, you can use your, your receiver to control where the dish is positioned. I just don't like this option because um, just sometimes your receiver can take you to another position uh, on satellite and then you don't want to be on that position. Like, for example, you could be on 120, you can, it could all, some, for some reason your receiver will go from a channel on 121 West to a channel on 55 West, and you just don't want all that time of moving your dish. So I, the, the reason why I hook it up this way is so that um, I can uh, just sit at this chair, this chair here, where here's the chair I sit at, and then I just, uh, when I want to move my satellite dish, I use this thing and I just have this wire and these wires run out to the actuator to move. So this is the Super Jack uh, satellite dish mover which you can buy at, uh, at uh, Tech 2000 and I'll have a link of it uh, in the description below and what this does is it moves your satellite dish it comes with this remote too for your positioners positions so right now I have it at 620 which I have it at one uh, one uh, 101 West C band, and I kind of what I did this is I have these positions programmed so I can have, for example, 99, 97, 91, 31. Well, 131 is what I call that 27, 25, 23. And these ones here are like 123, 120, and um, 07 is 107, just uh, so because those are satellites that, that I frequently go to. So so what I can do is, for example, is I can move it to 97 West, and then this thing will just move the dish. It'll move to the point where 90 I have 97 West programmed in, and then um, I just send my receiver to the transponders at 97 West. If I want to go to 105 West, or I'm going to go to 107 West because I use that one more. 107 West, it'll just take us to 107 West, and it'll just take you to the point of where that is on on the on the receiver. So this is a good way of um, moving your C-band satellite dish. Um, if you really need to move it, you can use, I've heard some people that you can use a 12 volt battery, but this because it has a sensor and everything, it just works very nicely and then you just have this nice setup for when you need to move your dish. And if you want to um, run the, uh, the, the cable through it, you can also do that too. It's just my preference is not to. So yeah, this is the V-Box 2, a super jack. Uh, you get this over at the uh, Tech 2000 store, and so people are always asking me, how can I get my old satellite dish for the actuator to move? Uh, you'll probably need to get one of these boxes if your 30-year-old actuator is not seized from sitting for 20 years or whatever. But uh, you can also, if your actuator is dead too, you can always go to Tech 2000 and uh, get another actuator for it as well. So thank you for watching, and please uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C-band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000. 
Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free-to-air satellite reception. <laughs>